I'm reading through my issue of 751 magazine from Rex Roth. There's this nice article in here about Rex Roth robotics. And I had the question, could I configure a robot in the MLC in seven minutes and 51 seconds? Okay, here we go. Programming a three axis delta in seven minutes and 51 seconds. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is add our XM22 to our project. And accept a bunch of defaults. And then I'm going to use the GAT Compact in our kinematics interface. And what Engineworks is doing now is loading the generic application template, or GAT. And what that is, is, is some of our pre-written code to help you uh, get a jump start on the code that you need to run the machine. So it's going to install a program structure, um, an object-oriented type interface to help us program quickly, and a state machine that will help us uh, control the machine right out of the box. So this will allow us to go ahead and start running the robot once we get everything downloaded. And it also includes an HMI template that will give us some screens to be able to move the robot uh, and jumpstart our uh, development of our HMI program as well. So this takes just a little bit of time to set up the project that way. You can see it adding some things here and there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to our Circus network and scan our bus configuration. We've got three drives out here, so we need to give them some unique addresses. And we can do that here. So we'll write new addresses to our drives. And as soon as that's done, we'll add them to our project. The next thing I need to do is add those axes to our GAT so that they'll be in that template. It's setting those up and then we can add our kinematic in this case a uh, three axis delta and now we're ready to switch online our MLC and synchronize our motion configuration with the actual control so this is downloading our configuration that we just created down to the control all right, and then we need to set up our kinematic a little bit more. In this case, change our axes to absolute positioning and add some arm links to define the mechanics of our system. Okay, with that done, we can clear our errors and go to BB or our run mode, operational mode. And then what we need to do is go to each of our servo axes and uh, reference the encoders. And what this will do is just avoid errors when we try to run in a few minutes. So I'm just setting them to zero exactly where they are right now since we don't have a, a real kinematic hooked up. All right, clear those errors. The next thing we need to do is add the VH2110 to our project. So this is our HMI. So we'll add that there. And then in our visualizations for our GAT, we're going to add the robot visualizations for the VH21. And that's going to overwrite the default uh, WinStudio project with the one from the GAT so that we'll have our pre-configured HMI screens and communications ready to go. We'll let it finish up building that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is set up our OPC UA communications 
to talk directly to our PLC. So we need to change the default address here to our actual PLC address. And then I need to add a line of PLC logic to tie the logic to that IP address too. So I'm going to add a network here and a box. And we'll go to the GAP plugins for our kinematic interface and add this function block. And we're going to add one initialization bit so that it knows when to start that function block. And then we need to tie the IP address of our HMI to it. Get rid of our question marks because we're not going to worry about error variables right now. And then we can download that code to our controller. As soon as that's there, we can tell it to run. All right. And then the next thing we need to do is to download our WinStudio application. Connect to that. and download the files. And click that to run. So now the WinStudio application is initializing on the VH2110. All right, so what we can do here is go to manual mode, clear our errors. We can go set up our kinematic, enable it. See our drives come on. Let's configure a distance for our z-axis to move, let's say 100, and then let's move it. And you can see the position changing right here. You can kind of see the axis changing, the axis position changing. Ah, and we made it in our time as well. So that's how you can create a robot in 7 minutes and 51 seconds and get it moving. So now that we have our robot running, I'll show you a, a couple more interesting things that are useful. Um, let's cancel this out. I'm going to start my WinStudio project on my PC and um, just so I don't have to keep walking over to the HMI. Uh, but you can run it in both locations at once. I'm just going to run it virtually here. This can be helpful sometimes just in when you're developing your project or using a demo like I have right here. And I'm going to go back to that same screen here and set up some, some more dif distances just so we can see things move around. Okay. And the other thing I wanted to show you is uh, if we go to our robot, right click on it and do path viewer. We have this built in path viewer here where we can see the kinematic working uh, even though we don't have a kinematic. So you can kind of drag this thing around, get a good view of it. And then I can bring my HMI back. Let's get it side by side here and then move some things around. So we can see the action of our kinematic even though we don't really have one hooked up and see where it's going to move and test out what it's going to look like. And um, this will help you sometimes to, you know, again, if you need to go ahead and 
get some programming started before your machine actually gets built or or maybe you can't see the machine from where you are or maybe it's remote and you want to see what's going on uh, this little uh, kinematic viewer can help you see a lot of things that are going on with the machine and it's got a nice little path trace here so you can see where the tool points going um, so it's just a nice little troubleshooting tool to use so I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot really fast and uh, can use our MLC robotics tools to get your robot going quickly and efficiently. If you'd like more information, you can go to www.boschrexroth-us.com robotics. And there you can learn more about the product and get in touch with someone to find out even more information.